Sometimes, you need to figure out the quality of a particular movie, and sometimes, you don't know what you want to watch at all. That's why people visit sites like IMDb or Rotten Tomatoes, where it's easy to find every detail about any movie. Such sites are called movie directories, platforms where users can find information about their favorite movies, discover new ones, and read reviews before watching them. In this walkthrough, we'll show you how to create a movie directory using WordPress and its tools. We'll be using ListingHive, a free and user-friendly WordPress directory theme, along with HivePress, a versatile directory plugin that offers a wide range of features. So, let's get down to business. The first step is to install ListingHive and HivePress. ListingHive is a free theme, so you can install it directly from your WP dashboard by visiting the Appearance, Themes, Add New Theme page, where you need to find ListingHive using the search box and proceed by installing and activating it. Then, you'll get a suggestion to install HivePress, which will power directory features on your website, so simply follow the suggested link to install and activate the plugin. HivePress provides the essential features for creating a directory website, but you may consider installing some extensions to enhance its functionality further. There are more than 15 different add-ons available for you to install in the HivePress extension section, but let's focus on those suitable for a movie directory website. Reviews will allow users to rate and review movies, favorites will allow users to keep a list of favorite films, tags will enable users to set tags on movie listings, and social login will allow users to sign in via third-party platforms. To install an extension, click on the Install button. Keep in mind that all HivePress extensions work hand-in-hand -hand with each other, so you can easily combine them to suit your needs. Now, we need to split the directory into different movie genres to make it easy for users to browse through dozens of films. Let's go to Listings, Categories, and add some. Here, you can write a name, add a brief description, and upload an image that represents the genre. If needed, you can also create a hierarchy by selecting a parent genre. Finally, click Add Category. There is no limit to the number of categories you can add. The next step is to add custom fields that will allow users to view important information about each movie, such as release date, cast, etc. Let's visit the listings, attributes, add new page and create a release date field. Write the field's name and allow front-end editing so that users can see this field in the submission form. Then, choose the date field type. Also, you can make this field required. Proceed to the search section. Here, you can turn your field into a search filter by marking it as filterable and sortable. As for the field type, we'll choose date range to allow filtering results by date range. Lastly, in the display section, you can decide how your custom field will be displayed on pages. For example, we'll assign it to block, primary, and page, primary, select a suitable icon, and use this display format. Click publish to finish. I'll add more fields behind the scenes. Every website needs a front page, so our next step will be to create one. It's easy to do since HiPress is integrated with the WordPress block editor. To start, let's go to Pages, Add New Page. Next, give it a name, like Home. Then, come up with a warm greeting to introduce visitors to your site. After this, you can start adding various HivePress blocks by clicking the plus icon and searching for HivePress in the block library. For instance, we'll add a listing search form block. Below it, let's add a listing categories block. You can also customize blocks using the settings column on the right. For example, let's increase the number of categories displayed so that users could dive into any genre right away. Once you're satisfied with the layout, hit the publish button. Then, navigate to Dashboard, Settings, Reading, and set this page as the website's homepage by choosing it from the drop-down list. When you create a blog page later, you can also assign it here. Let's check what we've got by far and visit the site from the dashboard. Right now, all technical elements are present, but the design is clearly unfinished. To customize the page, click on the Customize button. Firstly, let's set a suitable header image. Click Header Image, Add New, and Upload it. There's also an option to crop it. Then, click Publish. Already looks better, but let's go through other settings to improve the look and feel more. 
In the site identity, you can set the website logo, edit the site's title and tagline, copyright notice, and set the site's icon. Let's quickly upload the logo. Looking good. Then, in the colors section, you have the flexibility to adjust the primary and secondary colors to your liking. Moving on to the menus section, you can personalize menus for different areas of your website. For example, let's say we want to add the blog page to the header. Firstly, you need to have a blog page created and set up as a posts page, similar to what we did with the home page. Here, click Create New Menu, name it, and assign it to header. Then, click Add Items, Pages, and select your blog page. Finally, press Publish, and voila! Your blog is now easily accessible to your users. Next, the Widgets section allows you to add custom widgets to different areas of your site. While this step is optional, it can come in handy if you want to display additional content. Homepage settings allows you to set up your home page and posts page, although we've already taken care of that. The fonts section allows you to select your preferred fonts from a wide range of options, including Google Fonts. Finally, there's the additional CSS section, where you can store custom code snippets to customize the style of your website further. If you're looking for some pre-made PHP and CSS snippets specifically for high press, you can find them in the description. Now let's take another look at the home page. Well, it's definitely more polished and refined now. Finally, let's put our work to the test and try to add the first movie. Note that your directory can be either multi-vendor so that anyone can submit new movies, or single vendor, meaning that only the admin will be able to add movies. By default, the front-end listing submission is enabled in high press settings, listings, but you can change it depending on what type of directory you're building. We'll add our movie via the front end. Let's visit the site and click Add Listing. Bear in mind that any static text within Listing Hive can be changed, so you can make it Add Movie instead. You can find an instruction on how to do it in the description. So, firstly, write the movie's title and upload its poster. Then, proceed by filling in all the previously created fields. When you've filled in all the fields, click the Submit Listing button. If manual moderation is enabled, you can approve this listing in the Dashboard, Listings section. Once approved, the movie will appear on your site. Let's have a look at it. All information is present, but overall, the listing page doesn't look very good. However, we can easily change that thanks to the High Press Templates feature. To do this, go to Dashboard, High Press, Templates, and click Add New. Name it Listing and select the Listing Template in the Settings tab, then Publish. Now we can arrange blocks. As an example, we'll arrange them like this, but you can do it the way you like. Okay, let's visit our movie listing one more time. Now it definitely looks much better. If you followed all the steps correctly, the main features of your movie directory are already working and you're good to go. But additionally, let's briefly cover a few monetization options available in HivePress that you can integrate into your movie directory right away. Let's start with a common monetization method, paid listings, which will work if you're creating a multi-vendor directory. The concept is simple. You charge users for adding new movies to the directory. For example, there will be a free plan that allows anyone to add one movie, but if they want to add more, they will need to purchase a premium plan. To do this, you gotta install two plugins, WooCommerce, the most popular e-commerce plugin, and HivePress paid listings extension. First of all, go to WooCommerce products, add new, and create a premium product, providing its future cost. Also, mark it as virtual, then press publish. After this, go to listings, packages, and create two packages, free and premium. You should write names and provide descriptions to let users understand what they'll get in each package. However, when creating a paid package, don't forget to select the WooCommerce product. Now, when users want to add a new movie to your directory, they will be given a package choice. It will look like this. 
As you see, if we select a premium package, we are redirected to the WooCommerce checkout. Now, if you're going to be the only person adding movies, the best monetization model would be charging users for viewing movie listings. Note that the High Press Memberships extension is required for this to work. First, you need to create another WooCommerce product indicating the price for browsing your movie database. Don't forget to also mark it as virtual. Next, visit the Dashboard, Memberships, Plans section and create the free and premium membership plans. Here, write names and provide descriptions. Also, you can set an expiration period and select pages available for viewing. Then, be sure to link the WooCommerce product to the premium plan. When finished, press Publish. From now on, the users will be given membership options when trying to view movie listings, similarly to this. And that's it. We just showed you two main monetization models that you can use in your movie directory. Congratulations! Now you know how to easily create a movie directory with WordPress, and we hope that one day, your site will become a valuable resource for movie lovers. Also, as you can see, you may look no further than HivePress and Listing Hive as your tools since this powerful combination provides an exceptional foundation for your movie directory project.